This channel is supported by my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Oh my God. Okay, some background here. Um, this is not me in the kayak. A viewer sent me this, and it is the scariest piece of fishing video that I have ever watched. And the conditions, uh, west-northwest wind, 25 gusting to 40. Air temperature, 50 degrees, but the really critical thing here, water temperature, 48 degrees. This is Raritan Bay, New Jersey. And that water temperature is critical because, uh, you know what, in about five minutes, you're going to lose your ability to do anything with your hands exhaustion or unconsciousness in 30 to 60 minutes death in one to three hours but he's out here early in the morning uh the odds of being seen are, are very low Right, he told me he was not wearing a life jacket, so no PFD. He is wearing waders, very bad in a kayak. The kayak itself is its just a basic department store kayak. Um, this is not something that's going to give a lot of stability. Um, you know, this, this is just a bad situation. On top of that, he's incredibly distracted here. All he can think about, and he told me this, was getting the selfie. And... Um, you know, so he's got to log into his phone. He's got to set up the self timer. I can tell you, I've edited out where he twice. You know, he's logging into his phone, putting his code in, and everything. And while he's doing that, um, he's not paying attention to the conditions.
So I've communicated with this guy. He, he's, he's not a jerk. He's not stupid. He knows exactly what he did wrong. He listed all the things to me that he did wrong. He, he knows he wants other people to see this so that um, nobody else gets overly excited about the fishing and finds himself in the position that this guy's going to find himself in. Okay, this frame really spells it out. You can see his distance from the beach. You can see the size of the waves. And people who are around kayakers know they do not show up well. Uh, nobody's going to see this guy. Um, he told me he really was having trouble catching his breath. Once he grabbed onto the kayak, he, he just was afraid to let go. He wasn't going to try and upright the kayak. And uh, uh, this is very bad. Miraculously, somebody on the shore saw him go over called the police. The police got to him in about 30 minutes. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's just mind-boggling. So good job to that bystander and the cops for getting out there so fast. So this motivated me to test something I've always wanted to do, is go in over my head with waders and a belted surf top and see what that feels like and what I'll be able to do. So I'm uh, going to try that here. Oh, and by the way, uh, in the video description, I'm going to have a link to that guy's video and you'll see a little more information in there as well. All right, so All right here we go. Oh, oh my goodness, you float like crazy. It's what? You float, because you know, I'm belted, which is the whole idea. Oh. So I'm wondering, I can't, I can't get my feet down at all. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is very uncomfortable. <laughs> I always wondered. All right, so what if I did this and I, if I had to swim or something? I don't know how long it would last, though. That's it. You know, I can't get my legs under at all. But uh, that is an interesting aspect. All right, so. Well, they're like two big air bubbles. Yeah. Well, I'm belted tight. All right, so. There goes the belt, so what's going to happen now? I still can't. <laughs> you know, even with the belt off now, it's hard to get that air out. There we go. Okay, so this is what I wanted to see. Alright, because I'm thinking the water in my waders won't weigh any more than the rest of the water, so... Alright, so I don't really feel... much different. If I need to get around... Man, definitely all the air's out. Did they fill with water? All right, so now I want to see if I can get my waders off. In the water. All right, so obviously uh, it's a very bad idea to wear uh, waders in a kayak. Um, and, you know, this is an easy situation here, right, because it's nice and flat. That guy was in really rough water. At times when I've fished cold water in a kayak, what I'll do is I'll wear like a, a three millimeter um, shorty wetsuit underneath my clothes, you know, it keeps you warm and, um, you know, should anything happen, it would give you buoyancy as well. But, um, yeah, I've always wondered what this is like, and, and can I get out of these waders? Maybe. 
All right, so even though I'm apparently able to tread water with the waders on, there's no way I could swim. So I, I want to see if I can get these things off. Uh, one thing I didn't see on that kayaker's uh, setup was whether he had a leash on that paddle. That's another safety feature. If you go over and you can upright your kayak, you need to have your paddle. And uh, the leash would save that for you. Okay, in this easy control situation, I was able to get out of the waders. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, check out my online fishing courses at saltstrung.com slash skinner. And don't forget my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surfboat and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.